looking for a meal prep? Because baby, here she is. Don't you worry, don't you cry. I can promise it gets better in time. Keep your head up, keep your shine. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey best, it's so good to see you guys again. So as you can already tell by the title of today's video, we are getting into another meal prep. I just want you guys to know that I thank all of you because the demand for the meal prep has been there and I kind of fell off for a little bit, but you guys have held me accountable for these last few weeks. So thank you, cause you're helping me more than you know. We are back with another super quick, easy, and delicious batch prep. I love the style of meal prepping. A lot of you guys have been loving it too. So I just really think that that is gonna be the move in terms of meal prepping. Although you guys already know I'm a creature of habit and I can definitely eat the same thing every single day. Anyway, that's really the intro. You guys know that I'm not a professional. You guys can pause right here to read my disclaimer. All recipes will be linked down below in the description box as well as my grocery list because you guys loved that the last time. So I don't mind throwing in that extra sweetener. Although, I'm sorry to say, I didn't make a dessert. Yeah, I didn't make a dessert this week. I just didn't have that much of a sweet tooth this week, but no worries. I definitely got you guys next week. So stay tuned for that. But I've got some banger components banger dishes you won't even be disappointed i promise you you won't so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this meal prep so first up on this meal prep we're getting into a corn salsa which i'm actually so excited about because i don't know why i never thought to make corn salsa like tomato salsa is cool or like pico but corn salsa y'all mm, love me some corn so we're gonna go ahead and start just chopping our veggies you're gonna chop up half of a red onion about a half a cup of cilantro and a little bit of a jalapeno mine is very shriveled and crusty dusty but that's okay okay we just wanted to use her before she went completely bad and she tasted fine so we're safe here anyway we're gonna go ahead and in a bowl combine the trader joe's roasted corn this is the frozen bag so i just popped it in the microwave for three minutes and prepared it according to the directions adding in all of my veggies so the onions cilantro jalapeno and of course some garlic because you know garlic is it and then i'm gonna season to my liking dress with a little bit of lime juice and boom this maybe took me five minutes prep and all Next, we're getting into some turkey burgers that I'm going to jam pack, and I mean jam pack with vegetables. So to a pound of very lean ground turkey, I'm adding some red bell peppers, red onions, a little bit of cilantro, jalapenos, and then a ton of spinach. I'm gonna season it really well. You can pick and choose your seasonings. These are just the ones that I like. And then a little bit of olive oil, mix it all together, and then we're gonna form some patties. This is very self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna let you watch, and then we'll chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide the meat mixture into four kind of even parts. The math teacher me knows that this is not completely even, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna estimate, okay? And I'm gonna form very medium sized, medium to large sized patties, I guess you could say. And I'm just going to form them and then set them in the fridge so they can like firm up a little bit before putting them in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and cooking them through because we're not eating raw turkey. <music> So 
So to cook the turkey burgers, like I said, I'm just placing them in a nonstick skillet over medium heat because I don't want to burn them. And then I'm going to create a little dent in the very center of each patty to make sure that the meat cooks evenly. And then I'm just going to allow them to do their thing. So just for a quick snack idea for you, I've been making these fruit and veggie boxes, but this time I'm adding a little bit of protein and I'm obsessed. The combination of cantaloupe and pomegranate seeds, I don't know what it is, I can't get enough, but I'm basically adding that, some cucumbers and two hard boiled eggs, and that is a really quick and easy snack idea for you. So normally when I meal prep, I like to make two separate proteins for the week. So my second protein is gonna be some shrimp and this shrimp has the tail still on it and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and season it very basically because I'm going to use this for a couple of dishes, which you'll see at the end of this video. But I wanted to make sure that the shrimp were still seasoned and flavorful, but didn't have too much of a strong taste that could be in conflict with another flavor palette that I was going for. And then I'm just gonna sear them in a pan and a little bit of olive oil really, really quick. Do not walk away from the stove. It takes literally like four to five minutes for shrimp to cook. So stand there, flip them, make sure they're single layer and then flip them when they're done. And then I just dress with a little bit of lemon juice at the very end. I know I'm gonna get this question as to why I didn't put the lemon juice in in the beginning, but I prefer to dress all of my veggies or proteins with lemon at the very end so that you can really taste that lemony flavor. Finally, for my last component, I'm making some bonza pasta in the penne form, I guess. And it's got 20 grams of protein. So this is super basic. I just salted some water, added it to the pot once it was boiling. And then instead of draining it, I'm going to scoop the pasta into my meal prep container and add quite a bit of the pasta water to the bottom of the meal prep container. That way, as the pasta sits in the fridge throughout the week, it doesn't get dry and crusty. And I'm also going to need some of that pasta water when I prepare it to thin out my sauce. Now here's just a recap of everything we made, the corn salsa, some turkey burgers, of course, fruit and veggie boxes, some basic shrimp, and some super basic pasta. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm whipping it up because you know that's how we do. All right, so hear me out. We're gonna make a pasta sauce with some spaghetti sauce and cottage cheese. I know, I know. First of all, the look of cottage cheese is just makes me want to cringe, but the sauce was actually super, super good. So in my Nutribullet or the blender of your choosing, whatever one you got, cause that's your business. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of my favorite marinara sauce. And I'm going to add a half a cup of the cottage cheese. Also, if you don't splash sauce all over your counter, you're doing it wrong. Listen, do not fear. You don't taste it. It's just adding extra protein. Cause we're making high protein, protein pasta, season it up really well and then blend it. And when I tell you blend, I mean blend it because you will not catch me with this chunky sauce. I mean, cottage cheese maybe on its own is great, but it's just not for me. Can't get past it, but look at this smooth and creamy texture. We love a texture shot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a serving of the pasta with the pasta water, breaking up the noodles, and I'm going to add the sauce. I like a lot of sauce, so that's why it looks like a lot. You don't have to make that much sauce, but that's just how I'm doing 
one in here. I'm gonna heat it all the way through and then I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl and we're topping with extra protein because this is the super proteiny protein pasta. I'm topping with some shrimp, a little bit of shaved Parmesan and baby, exquisite. Next, I'm gonna be making this arugula based salad with green goddess salad dressing, some shallots, a little bit of slivered almonds, and some avocado. My green goddess salad dressing, you've seen me make on my channel before, but I will also have it down below in the description in the recipe document. And basically, I'm just going to toss all of my veggies together with the salad dressing, top with the juicy shrimp, and y'all. It's just so crazy how I could use the same protein and get two different feels and two different flavors. Don't get me wrong, the seasoning on it were really really good the shrimp was very seasoned but it was done in a way that wasn't like doing too much if that makes sense Okay, so the last meal that I'm gonna show you guys is kind of like a burger and fries, but like not, okay? So I wanted fries, but instead I cut my cucumbers into fry strips and then I'm having the turkey burger with the corn salsa and then adding some spicy brown mustard on the top because I am a mustard girly. And was it giving burger and fries? Well, it was definitely giving burger, but you know what? My body will thank me later. My health will thank me later. All right, so this is basically gonna conclude this week's meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you guys try these recipes, definitely let me know which one was your favorite. I'm a little bit torn between the protein pasta and the turkey burgers because y'all, a turkey burger is gonna do it for me every single time. Every single time, without fail. I'm gonna leave you guys off here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this meal prep. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.